Right, hey guys, it's Weston here. So today I'm going to be doing another battle of the CPUs and this time it's going to be a rendering test. Now, both of these will edit 1080p footage without a problem whatsoever, so I'm not really going to be covering that in this video. What I'm going to be looking at is to see which one of these CPUs is best for rendering. Now, I'm going to be looking to see which one can render this sample video I've made the quickest. Now, you can actually see the sample video down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself, but I'm just going to see which one of these CPUs can actually render this the quickest. So before I start that I'd just like to quickly thank XFX for supplying me with the R9390X graphics card and the 850W power supply. Without them this series would not be possible. A massive thank you goes out to them and all their links will be down in the description. So let's get into it. So to keep this as fair as possible, I used exactly the same hard drive. So I used a 120 gig SSD to render this from and two. So there's no differences in hard drives whatsoever. If you want to check out both system specifications, the video for that will be linked in the description. So you can see the slight differences between the two. So what I'm doing really is just seeing which CPU actually renders this 1080p video fastest. Now this video has some transitions, it has text, it's got a bit of colour grading, a bit of colour correction and a few effects in it. But both samples are exactly the same, there's no differences between the two whatsoever. All that's different is basically, if you watch those other videos you'll see what's different between the two systems. And we're just going to see which one of these CPUs renders this 1080p video the quickest. Now I'm exporting this to exactly the same 1080p preset that I use for all my videos so there's going to be no differences in there whatsoever. So one room's not rendering a higher quality one than the other, they're rendering exactly the same file. So what that'll do is it'll just give us an idea of which CPU can actually perform this task the best. Also, GPU acceleration has been disabled and there's also no CPU boost on this software either that I've found. So that doesn't affect the scores either. So essentially it's just a CPU versus CPU to see which does this task the fastest. Right guys, so the Intel is getting really close to finishing this full render. So yeah, let's see just how long it takes to completely fully render this 1080p video. So it's just about finishing now. So that finished in nine minutes and seven seconds. So what we're gonna do now is uh, fast forward this next bit and we'll see how long the AMD takes to actually finish. So guys, the AMD is just about finishing now. You can see it's quite a long way behind the Intel in this regard. So it's just about finishing now. So it finished in 11.42. So you can clearly see that there is a big difference between Intel and AMD for rendering, especially using this software. It might be different in different software suites, but for Adobe Premiere Elements, Intel definitely renders your video quicker. Right guys, so you've seen that the Intel was the quickest at rendering this specific video in this specific program. Now, like I've said, that may differ depending on which software program you use, but for Adobe based ones, I'm thinking it's probably all the same, I've not actually tried it, but for this specific program, what I use, the Intel is quicker than AMD. Now you can see that from yourself, there's not really any bias, like I've covered already, there were nothing different about how these were being rendered or what they were rendering to or the output that there was being rendered as it's just basically the intel is quicker now the amd did perform very well and i will say that it, for a very old chip it did hold its own really good against the intel but if you want those quicker rendering times then it seems that intel is definitely the way to go Right guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. If you've got any questions about this or this series, then the comment section is the place to be. So thanks again to XFX. Thanks again to you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all on the very next video.